Hi everyone. WordPress is the most popular website framework in the world. In fact, it powers over 43% of all websites on the internet. In this video, we are looking at how to manually install WordPress on a web host. Avada runs on WordPress, and so this is a necessary part of your setup to run an Avada website. Fortunately, it's very quick and easy to install. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. Let's start at the wordpress.org website. This is where you can download the self-hosted version of WordPress. To use this version, you will need both a hosting account and a domain name. Unless of course you are installing WordPress locally, but that's another video. There are good hosts at every price point, and it's worthwhile researching this and choosing the best host for your budget. To get you going in the right direction, we recommend a few hosting companies on our website that prioritize quality and reliability. See the links below the video for more info on that. You will also need a domain name under which your site will be available. That's also very easy to set up, and you can usually purchase that through your hosting provider or a domain registrar. So here I'll just click the Get WordPress button, and this takes me to the download page. Here there are two options, download and install it yourself, or set up with a hosting provider. What they are referring to here are the automated script installs offered by most hosting companies. That's a viable and popular option, and is very simple and straightforward. But in this video we're going to install WordPress manually, for full control and to understand the component parts. This method isn't particularly difficult, but it will help if you know your way around a server and cPanel. So the first thing I'll do is to download WordPress. I'll just click the download button, and the latest version of WordPress is downloaded to my computer as a zip file. Ok, so once you have your domain name and hosting set up, it's time to install WordPress. I'm logged into my hosting account cPanel here. How to access this varies by host and there are several methods, but usually you just log into your hosting account and follow a link. Some hosts use Plesk, and some have their own tools, but cPanel is the most common hosting interface. If you need more help with this, talk to your hosting support. As you can see here, the automated script method of install is prominently displayed, and this is indeed an easy way to install WordPress. But installing it manually is also very easy, and gives you full control over how it's installed. I think everyone should install WordPress manually at least once in their life. We start by creating a MySQL database and user. I'll just scroll down and open MySQL databases. You can also do this through phpMyAdmin, but I find this interface the easiest to use. All I have to do here is first create a database and then a user. So here under create new database, I'll give my database a name. Note how there is an account prefix here which is also part of the name. So here I'll append a recognizable name to this prefix, in case I add multiple databases to this account. This one tells me it's a WordPress database, and I installed it in 2022. I'll just click on create database. I'll now go back and add a user. Under my SQL users, I'll just add a username, and now I'll add a password. I'll just use my password manager to generate a secure password here, and I'll copy it into memory, then click fill password, and then create user. Ok, once I've added the user, I need to add them to the database. Under the add user to database section, there's an add button here. I'll click that, and on this page I will select the all privileges checkbox and save my changes. Make sure to take note of the details you have entered here as you will want them later. You'll need a copy of your full database name, the username, and the password you chose. Ok, so now I've created my database and added a user to it, I need to upload the WordPress files I downloaded from wordpress.org. You can use an FTP program to do this, or you can use the built-in file manager in cPanel. Regardless of whether you use file manager, FTP, or are even installing locally, the goal here is to get the extracted files into the correct home on their server, which on my server is in the root of the public underscore HTML folder. I'll just come to my downloads folder and open the zip file I downloaded from wordpress.org. Inside there is a wordpress folder, and inside that are the files we want. I'll just select them all, and extract them to a folder. Ok, so let's crank up the FTP program. I'm using FileZilla here, but any FTP program will do the trick. I'll just connect to the server of the website I want to install WordPress on. It loads into the root of my account on the server, and here we need to navigate to the public underscore HTML folder. 
OK, so I'll just come into my WordPress folder on the left-hand side and select all the files. I'll now just drag them over to the public HTML folder in the server on the right. As I said, on my server, public underscore HTML is the correct location for public-facing files. But if you're unsure, check with your host. The uploading of these files will take a few minutes, so I'll be back in a sec. OK, so we've created our database and user, and now we have the WordPress files in the right place. This is for a website at the root of the domain name, i.e. mywebsite.com. If you wanted the WordPress site in a subfolder, you'd just create that folder in the public underscore HTML folder and extract the files into that. I'll just close my FTP program now. So the remaining parts of the process are to run the WordPress setup and to connect WordPress to the database and user we set up. The wp-config file stores this information. At this point, you can edit the wp-config file yourself and enter it manually, or alternatively, we can let WordPress do that as part of the install. Let's try that method. So the next step is to run the WordPress installation. I'll just go to a browser and add my domain name. And after that, I'll add forward slash wp hyphen admin forward slash install dot php and hit enter. If everything is good, you will see the first WordPress setup step of choosing your language. I'll just select English and click continue. Now it lets us know that it needs the database information we saved before, and the message at the bottom tells us it will be used to create the WP config file. I'll just click the Let's Go button. So here I need the information I saved before. I'll add the full database name, and the full username, and the password I set up. With the database host setting, you can generally leave that on localhost, and if that doesn't work, talk to your hosting support. With the table prefix, it says to change this if you intend running multiple WordPress installations in a single database, but I won't be doing that, so I will leave it as is. If everything is correct, we get a message that all is OK with the database connection, and now we can configure WordPress itself. This is where we set up our site details and our WordPress admin. I'll just call the site Avada Garden, and I think I'll use the same username here, just without the prefix. There's a password already added here, and this is very secure, so I'll just use that. My password manager will pick it up, but I will just copy this as a precaution. Now I'll just add an email address at the bottom, and finally I'll click the Install WordPress button. I come to a success page, and so now I can log in. I'll just enter my credentials, and log in. And here we are, logged into our brand new installation of WordPress. OK, so that's how to install WordPress manually on a web host. At this point, it's now time to install Avada and to start building your website. Please see the links below for other videos on that. Thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments if this helped. OK, this concludes our video on how to install WordPress on a web host. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.